hey guys i have not done a vlog in a minute I'm starting a new vlog because i need to get back into the swing of things and i've been feeling some type of way about content creation as a whole so there's that i don't really want to get too into it i'm kind of trying to get out of my head and just create the content anyway currently um ali is about to be five months old tomorrow if we're calculating by weeks because tomorrow will be 20 weeks so you know obviously but she isn't gonna be five months old by date like the 27th isn't until two weeks from now i believe so yeah it's kind of weird like that i'm looking into getting her ears pierced i'm considering buying a baby food maker or just you know doing it myself and stuff um but i'm gonna start giving her purees and stuff because she is very much interested in eating food and her pediatrician said to give her food but like start with purees and everything um you guys can hear her today is one of those days where she is tired and very much needs to take a nap but she's refusing to take a nap um we also ended up moving her crib in here because she has very much outgrown her bassinet by now like she outgrew her bassinet months ago for being honest but yeah it was time so the crib's in our room and she's been sleeping in it okay taking naps in it okay last night was a little bit rough i think she just didn't want to be bothered with the crib <laughs> but it was okay um so that's that i'm gonna show you guys some stuff that i picked up for her i got some things from h&m um for the fall slash winter time and i do want to show you guys that so i'm gonna do a haul i'm not sure if i'm gonna do it try on style i'm not even sure if i'm gonna be able to do it today or probably in a couple hours today i don't know okay y'all let me hurry up and show you the stuff that i got so that way i can just um try to get her down for this nap that she keeps avoiding this is the little outfit that I got her and it says mommy's little pumpkin and it has pumpkin all on the pants and I figured um, this would be nice and cozy for the fall time. Of course she'll be in like socks and hats and all the things probably a coat and everything it just depends on how cold it is by the time we actually go to a pumpkin patch um this is a six to nine month fit and i got this from marshall's by the way but yeah i just got sleepers i heard this one and it has snaps and i know the youtube mommies don't love the snaps i personally don't hate snaps so i'm not bothered by that um and then i got her this thing this one has the zippers and then i got her this one this one was in the boy section but honestly this is giving very much anybody can wear it and yeah so i got that and i also got her a sleep um sleep sack which was on sale so i got it for ten dollars which i feel like is a steal so i got her that that's already in her room so i'm gonna go get that in a second well my h&m order is in there as well so when i go show you guys that i'll show you the sleep sack and the outfit that Jordan got her. You guys can hear the toy because Aaliyah is playing on her playmat and she's shaking the little things, okay? Um, it looks so weird in here because we moved the crib out into our room. So over here, I just have her bassinet and like some totes with clothes that we're putting up that she outgrew. And then the tote that I have with stuff that she is not even in those sizes yet. Like storage for bigger sizes of clothes and stuff but this is the outfit that jordan got her that goes with the little headband that i showed you guys i don't know if the camera is washing it out but get into the details it's so cute very much giving fall i cannot wait for fall to do all the little fall things um and then this is the sleep sack that i got her from carter's we have one that is from halo sleep sack which is the one she's using now but i like this because it's like a nice like cozier thicker type of vibe it's gonna be perfect for the winter time oh i was about to say where's my phone it's right here um but yes so that's that and then like i said i got six to nine for this thing should i turn the light off let me see let me see what it's giving no i like the light on so now let's get into the h&m order so of course more things for alia which she did not need this but um i was a big winnie the pooh kid when i was growing up so i saw this and i was like immediately obsessed with it 
and I was like I have to get it for her so this is like a little two-piece outfit top like a sweater type vibe and the bottoms Disney branded stuff from H&M and this is Winnie the Pooh and it's so cute um Kevin says they could have did a better job with the bear like making it look like Winnie the Pooh but it's cool we get the vibes right so I got this from H&M for her I think I got this in a six to nine as well yes I did um and this was um I think the pricing is irrelevant honestly because I did get these on sale like there was a discount code so whatever the original price is I think I got everything for 25% off or something like that and then I got her a winter coat because she does not have one like she has so much clothes it's ridiculous but she doesn't have a winter coat and we live in Ohio like we have winter majority of the year so she needed one and this one is six to nine as well um my mom said she was literally getting her one she had one in a cart for her that was also six to nine so she's gonna change hers to nine to twelve and then jordan had told me not to buy one because she's getting her like three but i'd already bought these so i got this knit sweater it's a turtleneck i figured i could either wear this for thanksgiving dinner or christmas dinner um so yeah this is what it's giving it's oversized nice plush soft material and then the sleeves are also just like pretty wide and everything like that so i got this thing um I will link everything because the price is not on the tags so I'll just remember to link them all for you guys so that's first things first miss girl is on the move <laughs> she is literally rolling let me put down her other play mark. hold on holds on baby holds on baby holds on so we have this one that it doesn't have any um toys or anything attached so yeah and then I got this shacket which I really really wanted a shacket real bad okay like real real bad but shackets are pricey um and I love the ones that are like plaid that almost look like flannel style shackets but like I said shackets are pricey and old navy especially very very pricey so I got this one from H&M super oversized and i love the color i love how oversized it is my only gripe with this jacket is that it is very structured because it's a shirt jacket it's like okay i get why it's structured but i feel like this is too structured almost like it's cute but especially the colors i feel like they're too stiff for my liking and then the sleeves like the seam is so obvious you know what i mean but i don't know it could be cute when styled so i love how long it is and then it has like a little high low type of thing going on where the front is a little bit shorter than the back and everything but yeah i look crazy now but like i said it's cute when it's styled but i don't know i don't want to return it because i know that this was such a good deal and i probably won't get another shaki anywhere else for this good of a price um kevin says it probably will loosen up a little bit after i wash it so we'll see how that goes but yeah then i got these sweatpants listen these are so so nice they are very cozy the right amount of oversized you know they go down to the perfect length and everything i got this in a large the only thing with these sweatpants is they don't have strings no i don't need the strings but i want to mention that just in case you guys are curious but they do have the little thing so it's like a little bit more fitted on the ankles but yeah the color is perfect it's like the perfect neutral bone type of color love that i'm sure you guys can see there's a trend here with all the things that i got it's very much neutral <laughs> it's very much neutral and nude and all of that because i feel like i can always pair it with browns and tans and um cranberries and other fall type colors and also i feel like a lot of these things are just basics so it makes sense to get them in neutral colors um this i did I, yeah i did try this on this is just a knit sweater 
cardigan style sweater if that makes sense and I really really like this I wish it was a little bit longer like I feel like it's not cropped but it's just <laughs> it's not cropped but it's just a little exact so I feel like it it can kind of look frumpy but if you style it really well it'll be cute I got this in an extra large so yeah and I if I'd gotten this in a large which I could have I feel like it would have been too short for me like it would have given cropped vibes is it supposed to be cropped I don't think so I got this it's just like a long sleeve basic tee black extra large this extra large is uh, really nice like it's fitted and I remember reading that in the reviews that people say size up because these are pretty snug so yeah I got the extra large I've been getting extra large in top snow because I got milk bags okay <laughs> but um yeah it fits really nice my only gripe is that I got this in a white as well and I got it in a large because they didn't have extra large in stock and I was hoping it wouldn't be super fitted but I feel like the large is gonna be like tight not like tight like too tight but tight like tighter than I would have liked and it's white as well so then it probably stretch a little bit more than I like also then I got two basic cropped tees and this one again with the neutral vibes this one I got in an extra large no did I yeah I got this in an extra large it is ribbed I definitely did not need the extra large because it's ribbed but I like it I like the fit of it it's a very relaxed type of fit and yeah really love how this feels and i love how it pairs with all the other things that i got i also got another crop tee i don't know why i thought they were both the same type of material but this one is a more cotton type of vibe so it's not as relaxed of a fit it's giving more like nice taut crop top type vibe and it is in a large it fits but like i said it's not as relaxed of a fit but it works bless you baby it works so i'm not mad at it so that's that um so this is the white one that i got like i said i did not take it out of the bag because i didn't try it on i wasn't sure what i was going to do with it yet but i honestly might just keep it because it's probably just going to be an undershirt for cardigans and sweaters and stuff in the fall time bless you baby and then I got this oversized cardigan sweater. This one is a thicker, heavier knit. This, um, I wouldn't wear like the other one. The other one, I would not wear it as a cardigan. I would wear it as a shirt. This, I would wear as a cardigan or over shirt, over sweater or something. So, yeah. I love how oversized it is. I love the big buttons and the chunky pockets. I love that it has really long sleeves. I just really, really like this. And, yeah. I feel like I'm gonna be able to style this and it's gonna look really cute with like some boots, some jeans, or even the sweatpants. I honestly wish I'd gotten more sweatpants because I low-key love those and I feel like those could be good go-to winter bottoms instead of wearing jeans all the time. So I might pick up some more of those. But speaking of jeans, I also did get a pair of jeans. It is their 90s bootleg flare something, okay? I don't have it with me the paper is not in here either but basically I got them in the size 18 because I wanted them to be oversized the waist was obviously a lot of sizes too big and I figured I would have just taken it in but then it's also too long and too stretchy but not oversized you feel me so I returned them and reordered them because they don't do exchanges well they can't do an exchange because they don't have the item in store so i reordered them in a size 14 which is just going to be just right and not oversized but it is what it is i think i just need to give up on the oversized jean search and save that for the in-store shopping and stuff but yeah So, on today's episode of Mom Tings, I am on pickup duty, so I'm about to head out. I need to leave here by the latest 12.30 to get there at exactly 1. 
it's 12 25 and i'm heading out um there's trains in the way but it's going pretty fast oh i love every box is here it's on the porch fedex didn't even send me a notification they playing around playing games um should i go get it should i wait I mean, I'm waiting for this train anyway. It's going super fast, so I don't think I need to go the other way. I'm about to go get this Love Every Box right quick. Just because we're going to be gone for like an hour. So let me just get it. I don't think anybody's going to mess with it. So, we got the goods. And this train needs to hurry up. But... I am very, very excited for this box. But then again, I'm excited for all of them. But this one is the five to six month and the toys in there. I feel like she's at the, the edge where, I mean, obviously, because they know what they're doing. But I'm just excited for her to get these toys and play with them because I know she's gonna love them. Pick up, successful. We are going home now and I have to take the street way. So it is going to be about 45 minutes because um to home. i have to take the streetway because there is an accident on the freeway and you know the traffic has slowed down and everything like that um i tried to pull over to feed alia she was not ready to eat but she's very much fussy because um basically she ended up getting woken up from her nap for us to come here to do pickup and then she was trying to sleep again in the car was not banking on being in the car for almost an hour to get home but we you know we move okay y'all so i got the ball and i got this thing and we about to see what she does i would put you guys down but um i don't know if i'm gonna get the shot let's see i feel like it's yeah if i put you guys down oh she already on the move because she saw him but um if i put you guys down i feel like it's a little bit too low for me to get the shot let's see i put you on my sandal She wasted no time, okay? She said, at, at, at. And then that is a combination of this thing and her socks making noise, but yeah. She loves these, especially this ball. She goes crazy with this thing. You guys probably can't hear me because she's kicking the bell. Like she will, once you put her down on her back, she almost always just immediately rolls over onto her stomach. Ah, it's so loud. Hey y'all, so I have not picked up the camera in days. Anyways, <laughs> today is Saturday, the 17th, and we are going to Kevin's wrestling show. And we got the whole gang in the back. It's actually very early. Come on, do you got something to say? I don't know what that was. He's going somewhere. Um, but he has to be there before the rest of us. But I mentioned that in the last vlog when we were going to a show. So we're going to drop him off and then I'm going to make my way to Jordan. And then we'll go back to the show. And Aliyah's in the back. Very cranky because she wants to sleep. So, yes. Are any of these supposed to be for me? Because he literally would not stop staring at me. I'm trying to take my selfie and he's just all in my business. It's in the bag, too. I need to smell that as well. No, I need to pull that one. Sure, roll down the one that's on my man's wrestler. He's right inside. You need to give me a one. Why is it not picking up your face? Oh, wait. Come back. Come back. Come back. But yes, this is about to be a 40 minute drive. Hopefully, Alia will take an hour nap, at least. Hi, baby. Come on. Little miss, let's avoid the nap. 
okay is here with us for this little segment but yeah i placed an amazon order the other day and i'm just showing you guys what i picked up um it's not nothing super exciting honestly <laughs> but um first things first i got some replacement heads for one of my favorite razors this is the razor that i really really love and then i tried the harry's and i also really like those but yeah these are the ones that you just attach to the body like the stick and yeah these are really really good and for some reason they are hard to get in store i don't know if they're gonna be discontinued or what but i had to get some off amazon got this thing which i should have been had this but it's the shade for the windows um for the baby clearly you guys can see the little girl under but basically just to avoid like the sun and everything coming in but yeah finally got some hopefully these work this is what it looks like i'll have all this stuff linked on my amazon storefront if you guys care but yeah finally got a case for my hard job i got some nose frida filters because we use this thing so often and we are out of the filters so i just got some more of those and then the last thing that i got is a new um handheld whisk like milk frother thing because i had one that i got from target and it broke so i got a new one hey guys so it's been a minute since i've even hopped on here i don't remember what was the last thing i vlogged and yeah i know it was a while ago though but i know before i was showing you guys a haul of things that i picked up for the fall for myself and i had a few pieces in there for Aaliyah. so i'm gonna show you guys more fall things my mom and sister bought her some stuff okay quite a bit of stuff and then i picked up just a few pieces okay just a few um and then also i have a package here that i got from kaja i'm gonna show you guys some stuff some of it is dupes because i don't think they realized that they'd already sent me some of the stuff but because i love it so much some of it i'm definitely keeping even though i already have because i need backups you know and i got this adwa adwa <laughs> adwa beauty bio mint i can't talk adwa beauty bio mint bow mint bow mint <laughs> deep conditioning treatment and i've heard great things about this treatment this is what it looks like and i want to use this today Ugh, not the seal still being on there if my camera will stop being overexposed that will be nice it's not really showing right now but regardless it smells so good but i want to use this today I need to film with it though so not really sure if i'm gonna get around to doing that they sent me this uh, play bento and it has coral crumbs gold drip more macchiato it's like a blush bronzer highlight thing blush looks like and then that's the highlighter and then that's the cream bronzer so i'm excited to use this it will be in a vlog at some point if not this one well probably not this one yeah probably not this vlog maybe my next one um definitely will be and i get ready with me probably on my tiktok because that's all i be posting over there but yeah they sent me the saucy blush i haven't even opened it because i already got this one and i'm not sure if i'm gonna use both of them you know what i mean like i like it but do i really need to that's the question they sent me this highlighter trio which this is new um so let me see get it out the packaging Ugh, why is it stuck um this one it has glisten up champagne time dazzling bronze so oh ciao this one is glisten up it's like a very icy color and did i just dig my finger in there no this one is champagne time hopefully my camera is doing it justice i feel like it's really not and then bronze what is it bronzing something bronzing dazzling bronze so that's new and then they sent me the wink stamp which i already have and i'm not gonna open this one i don't need two of these and they sent me 
another gloss in milk tea definitely keeping her okay one can be in my makeup drawer Ooh. one can be in my makeup drawer and one can be in my bag let me turn on the brightness a little bit hopefully that's better because this gloss is so so good like ever since i got it i have not been able to put it down so i'm not mad that i got two of those they also sent me another wing clash trio which i'm also really really loving so i'm definitely keeping this as well and y'all know i really like this i like this design of it that it all like clicks together my mom got her this matching sweatsuit from gap it has the little joggers and then the hoodie and a lot of their stuff is like it has their logo so the sweatpants doesn't have the logo but the shirt does not shirt the hoodie has the logo but yeah love the little mustard color very cute here for that and then this one it's a Mickey no Minnie Mouse sweater which is so so cute this is in three to six the other one was in six to twelve um she can wear this right now which is perfect because it's already chilly like i swear fall wasted no time like the first day of fall the weather immediately got it together like temperatures dropped ridiculously um but she already has this little gap sweat bottom and it's a three to six and it already has a mini on it now the colors definitely don't really match but i feel like she can still wear them together you know um so yeah this is what this looks like and very cute very very cute but my mom got these bottoms which also don't match i don't think she realized that the the logo on here was a different color will it adjust the lighting please please okay there you go so i don't think she realized that the logo on here was a different color from this logo on this sweater hoodie situation and then also this hoodie is in three why did i look at it i already told you guys it's in three to six but these bottoms are in a 12 to 18 so yeah they probably put the bottoms really close to the hoodie and so it made it seem like they went together but because she already has the mini mouse and those are also gap it's fine <laughs> and then i got her this little sweater it's like knitted so cute like a cardigan style sweater and it has a hood on there and i got her this from old navy and i'm obsessed so this one it comes with the bottoms underneath as well it's just like pink it has like a little design on it very cute white plush sweater that goes with it jordan got her this my mom got her this and this is what this looks like then jordan got her this which i feel like is also super duper cute and like perfect for fall love the tone of this little um what would you call this a jumpsuit i got her this little jacket from old navy and i'm obsessed is this not the cutest thing Ever. so my mom got her this little puffer vest and it's so cute and this is in 6 to 12 from gap gap old navy they're all the same so yeah that's why their sizing is like that and it has little pockets on there she also has this vest which i'm pretty sure you know what let me look for the picture because i'm pretty sure jordan had sent me a picture of this thing because I'm trying to figure out what this goes with. I feel like it came as an outfit. Okay. It came with one a onesie. Hold on. Because where is that onesie? Oh, right here. See? That's something. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it in a vlog. But whenever I get certain outfits for her, I usually take a picture of them and put them in her own folder. Because my brain like sometimes i can't remember what goes with what it goes with these pants and then this little fur puffer no it's not puffer i don't know what this is called <laughs> but it's like very nice soft plush material with a pink on the inside it snaps and it has a little hood but it is sleeveless so that way when she has the onesie on you'll see 
you know what i'm saying and then my mom also got her this and this is in 12 months i can't see the name of it but yeah this is super cute it's like a sweater with um that also like oh this is like a teddy coat type of material so yeah has a hood on there and then we have this all in one like onesie it has the teddy vibe going on on the inside with the hood and everything this is from gap and this is in 6 to 12 my mom got her th this little pea coat <laughs> is this not so adorable um but yeah this comes with matching gloves which those are in her drawer but this is in the size 12 months which i'm i feel like it would probably be 9 to 12 based on how it looks and then my mom got her some jeans so these were already folded in her drawer but i'll show them to you guys so she got her these like nice gray colored ones i think are these jeans or jeggings these are jeggings and then she got her another pair of jeggings these have the little distressing in the knee very cute and then these like dark wash just solid ones this is like actual jeggings i think so yeah um definitely knows how to show up okay she has an eye for stuff basically not just for baby stuff like stuff in general whether it's like clothes for herself stuff for the home she needs to become like a personal shopper or something but yes that is everything i have these two pants i don't know if they came with anything i feel like they didn't but i don't know for sure i have this one in nine and this one in 12. don't know what they came with but yeah <laughs> i'm gonna put these in her drawer and then the stuff that i just showed you guys i had them all at the front of her closet i'm gonna put them in the like appropriate sizing area type of stuff i've put away like almost yeah i put away all of her zero to three stuff and a lot of her three to six stuff especially the ones that are short sleeve because it's not short sleeve with her anymore okay it's cold it's very cold so that's that gonna finish putting stuff in its place and then i'm gonna try to shoot my Adro beauty content you guys what i think about the deep conditioner so you guys will get the rundown before instagram gets the rundown so yeah quick a little rundown of the deep conditioner consistency is very thick very rich creamy all that stuff this is 16 ounces so I barely made a dent in there. Give the lighting some time to adjust here. Yeah, so you guys can see. Barely made a dent. I have a lot more left in the jar. Overall, I like it. I wouldn't say it's a must have. It's a staple just off my first impression. I feel like my hair feels good. It looks good. It definitely isn't the most moisturizing deep conditioner I've tried, but it's not, it doesn't feel like I use like a strong protein treatment on my hair. It feels like a balancing deep conditioner and I don't know what the claim is supposed to be, honestly. I think my hair feels good, it looks good. I don't know if you guys can tell, well, I'm sure you guys can tell, but my hair, it needs a cut, like what is this doing? I don't really know. And then also my curls are just going through it. And I plan to get my hair cut in a bob for my birthday, straightened, all the things. And then after that, I plan to big chop. <laughs> after that, I plan to big chop. So, yes, if you watch the vlogs, then you heard it here first. If you're on the close friends, you technically heard it there first. Right, girl? Right. And <laughs> if you're on neither or you don't watch, whatever then you're just gonna wait for that video when i show you guys me getting my hair cut all that so yeah i will talk to you guys tomorrow or something we'll see wait uh she's rolling or at least don't roll off the blanket Aliyah. <laughs> kevin you're done God, see if i can get a trade <laughs> i don't care about a trade i'm about to trade you Tell him get out the shot. I don't want to see him. You looking at mama? 
mama got the camera on hey guys so the last time i talked to you well the last thing i showed on here was me taking Aliyah's pictures for her five month um milestone which was on monday i took those technically she was five months yesterday which is tuesday but i took them on monday ignore all the stuff you can see in the background that bag has my laundry in there i did my laundry on saturday and i still have not put it away so yeah and then i have the little um what do you call that the little storage bin with her toys in there and stuff like that in that right there we've been meaning to take that out but we always forget it's from when kevin had converted kamai's bed into a toddler bed i had every intention of vlogging yesterday but when i tell you my week took a turn after i showed you guys the fall haul and stuff my week took a turn and your girl is going through it okay so um monday i guess monday went okay ish and then yesterday was very chaotic very very chaotic and i was literally in the dumps like i had a horrible day okay like it started out rough and it just progressively got worse and by the time i got home from doing my running around i was literally down and out i was down bad it was some real down bad ghetto shit <laughs> now i saw that on twitter and i'm just like i need to use that for everything now but yeah i was really down bad and i was in a rut and i'm not feeling the best today either but i'm trying to push through so there's that um right now i am just catching my breath really and truly i just got done cleaning the kitchen and um i got started on dinner which it's only one o'clock but usually i try to seize the moment when it comes to dinner and whenever ali is down for her long nap that's when i usually get dinner done and cleaning the kitchen and so yeah she took a minute to go down for her nap and then when she did go down for her nap she took like a quick 30 minute which i've noticed that that's what happens whenever she avoids her nap she only naps for about 30 minutes and then wakes up eat and then she'll probably go down for a long nap not always guaranteed so that's what happened she ate for a minute like she was nursing for a long time okay and so now she's sleeping and yeah i just got done cleaning the kitchen started dinner i like i think i want to make chicken fried rice at first i was just gonna make curry but i'm like no i kind of want to make chicken fried rice if she continues to sleep i am going to try to get some editing done i want to get this vlog edited at least start it because i want it to go up on friday the latest um so that's that that's pretty much all i have planned for today 